Hi, I'm Chuck Kuala, former Senate Majority Leader. And I'm Scott Jensen, former Assembly Speaker. And we're the insiders. So Scott, how's the GOP COVID strategy working? How's that working for Republicans? Well, I think you got two things going on here, Chuck. I think first of all is that the vast majority of Republicans want to have, make sure their kids are back in school. That's what parents want. They want kids back in school, whether it's kindergarten or it's the University of Wisconsin. People want to see kids back to normal and back in their classrooms. And then secondly, you have limited government Republicans raising questions like, well, wait, what gives you the authority to impose these orders in Dane County or at the University of Wisconsin? And a lot of that is because we've had this pandemic um, where a law was written 100 years ago, um, and this is really the first time we've tested it. And you've seen that case after case keeps going up to the court. So in the case of the University of Wisconsin-Madison, you've got Tommy Thompson, the pragmatist, trying to make sure that kids are safe and went out and got 90% of the kids to get vaccinated at UW-Madison and over 70% at most of the other campuses. And you've got Steve Noss, who, who's got some oversight at the university saying, and where did where did Tommy get that authority uh, to do all that stuff? So I, I think that's natural and it's now working its way up through the courts. The courts um, keep batting it back. I mean, the Supreme Court did decide a bunch of these um, last time, but they decided on months, if not maybe a year in one case after the case was filed, they finally got around to it. I think that's what's going to happen here is that these things are going to be challenged in court. The courts won't get around to deciding it till long after local government and state government officials have acted on these matters. But there's a lot of uncertainty about what the powers are. Um, at the same time, there's a lot of people who want to get kids back in the classroom. I think that long answer by Scott gives you an idea. Scott is one of the best at articulating the Republican view. And anybody listening to that will say, boy, it's a confusion out there, isn't it? You've got Tommy Thompson, longest serving, probably most popular Republican governor in the state's history. Maybe going back to Bob LaFowler, if you want to include that. But that guy says, we got to do this. And Steve Noss says, no, that's the choice between practical Republicans and suburban Republicans and the right wing nutballs. And guess what? People of the state don't want the nutballs because at the end of the day, Governor Thompson understands what almost all of us understand. And that is occasionally government has to stand in the breach when of necessity it has to be done by government. That's what we've got here. People understand that if government does not act here, if the governor, Governor Thompson, doesn't act as the head of the university, their children will get sick and some of them will die. Their parents may die. This is not what people want. When life is at stake, they understand there is a role for government. And that's when the people like Steve Noss and Ron Johnson and whatever, and Donald Trump for that matter, don't work for people. I think that's the classic here. If it were not for this bringing it into such stark, stark terms, life and death, we wouldn't get it. I think now we do. It is not working for the Republicans. The party has to choose pragmatism and necessity for government or the nutballs. If the Republicans, as they are right now, continue to choose the nutballs, they will pay at the ballot box. And more importantly, people will pay with their lives. Well, I don't, I don't think you're a nutball just because you're asking, do you have the authority to do this? Please show me where it is in the statutes, which is what Steve Noss is asking in the legislature. I also would point out that, that it is incorrect to suggest that he's in charge of the Republican strategy on this, because, of course, you have Republican legislative leaders who've disagreed with Rep, uh, Senator Noss with regards to his um, comments about Tommy Thompson and the university. So um, I, I think, again, you've got two different things going on here. One is there's a general pragmatic concern. Let's get kids back in the classroom. Let's get back to normal. Let's be safe. And then, then you do have, I think, an equally legitimate question like, well, wait a minute, Wh who has the authority to do this? Do you have the authority to do that? You've seen cases in Dane County where their local health authority has issued orders and they've been overturned by the courts, um, not once, but several times. We saw it at the state level with the governor. And I think we're continuing to see those legal cases now. Um, with, we will continue to see those legal cases as we go through yet another round of this pandemic. This is one of those rare instances where, state, where Scott states the question correctly, but that usually means you win the debate, but he states the question correctly, but it's a loss for the Republicans because absolutely people, every one of us wants the kids back in school. We know they need it, both educationally, emotionally, socially. We all want that. But the second part of the question where he says, oh, but do they have authority? No, people say, 
The next question people ask is, how do we make this happen and make sure my kid is safe? That's what parents ask. And when they ask that question, the answer is, we take the Tony Evers, Governor Thompson approach. We don't take the Stephen Oss approach. End of story. And I think that is going to be a problem for Republicans going forward, as we're seeing in Florida, where Ron DeSantis, the leading guy, if you take Donald Trump out of the equation, the leading guy for the Republican nomination is paying a huge political price for his position. Why? Because people are dying. This is not some academic exercise. This is real life. I think the reality is your Republicans have to choose and they better get back to the, the, the comfortable middle where kids go to school and they're taken care of. That's what people want. Yeah, well, I don't think it is the end of the story. I think as this pandemic continues on, we're going to see more and more court cases, more and more conflicts. Um, uh, there are people who are exhausted with the things that they've had to do. And there are people who are adamant that we continue to try to protect people. And that, that clash is going to continue uh, in the months ahead. Well, We'll, see you we'll next get a time, chance guys. to talk about it again, maybe next I'm week. I'm sure we will. See you next time.